So I realized that there are three lighthouses within an hour and a half of my house. So I'm driving to them today and going to be doing a virtual field trip and giving away copies of my book. The well, the sun came out a little bit and I just got to uh, Grand Lake in St. Mary's State Park and coming up to the first lighthouse um, here in just a I minute. I am at Grand Lake and just reached the Salina Lighthouse and I'm um, gonna just go up the observation deck here and show you guys the view. It's super windy so I'm just gonna and I am standing at the West Lighthouse called the Salina Lighthouse and um, during this visit here I'll be giving away one copy of my book The Lighthouse. Okay, I'm down at ground level and that's the lighthouse I was just at. This is on Grand Lake in Salina, Ohio. And I'm gonna head over to the next lighthouse where I'll be giving away another copy. Okay, so I just reached the um, northmost point of the lake and this is um, the next lighthouse and it is called the Northland Lighthouse. It was built in 1923 on Lake in Salina, Ohio. And uh, yep, this is the closest I can get to it, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually a replica of a lighthouse in the UK called Eddystone. Okay, so I just reached the third lighthouse on Grand Lake in St. Mary State Park, and it is so windy outside. I thought I would do a little history overview of this lighthouse before I step outside so that way you guys can hear what I'm saying and um, then I'll show you the lake and the lighthouse. So this is the southmost point of um, the lake and the lighthouse here is called Bem's Grim Memorial Lighthouse and so it was built in the 1990s when Glenn Cobb, the manager of Grand Lake St. Mary's State Park, mentioned he would like to see a lighthouse on all four corners of the lake. This sounded like a good idea to Stan Grimm, the owner of Bem's Landing, located on the southern shore of the lake, which is actually where I'm sitting right now. Um, so, after years of planning, uh, Bem's Lighthouse, which I will take you to in a minute, um, was built, and it is an oct octagonal 48 foot tall lighthouse sitting on a small offshore island dedicated in the memory of Stanley Mike Grimm, who was actually killed in an automobile accident in 1997. The steel frame for the lighthouse was designed by Mark Sever of St. Mary's and assembled by Leftfield Welding before being moved to the island. The lighthouse, which has a diameter of 12 feet at its base and five feet at its top, is covered in stucco-like material and has an interior stairway serving um, as a guidance to the beacon. This was purchased from a company in Texas. It is uh, sitting here on the south and um, it's actually really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of my car and take you guys out there and this will be my last lighthouse stop of the day. All right, here we go. out here it's, it's very windy and very um ooh, a little chilly too so yeah i am at the third lighthouse of the day yeah the wind i know <laughs> and um this will be this the place where i'm giving away the third copy of my book the lighthouse so um when i get back and i start compiling all the videos i'll go through all the people that have tuned in and give away a few copies of my book the lighthouse um again this is bem's lighthouse in grand lake or on Grand Lake um, and it was built in 1990 and uh, this is the third lighthouse on the lake and eventually they plan on putting a fourth lighthouse um, in the uh, east. So I went to the one in the west and then I went to the one in the north and now I'm at the south so um, ooh, it is cold and I appreciate you guys uh, going with me today on this little lighthouse tour and when they build a fourth lighthouse on this lake I'll come back up here and, and do another lighthouse tour so again thank you guys for uh, tuning in with me today and taking the
the little lighthouse tour.